Do you know which is OpenAI's latest tool? OpenAI has once again stunned the online world with a major announcement. Sora, an AI video generator that can make videos so realistic that it's hard to tell them apart from real footage. While everyone's buzzing about Sora, OpenAI hasn't spilled the beans on when it'll officially launch. They're teasing us with a glimpse into the future of AI, saying it's still on the horizon. In this video, we'll delve into what we know about Sora so far and why we might have to wait a bit longer before we can get our hands on it. Let's start with the history behind the launch of Sora. Sora, developed by the creators of ChatGPT at OpenAI, is an AI model that converts text prompts into short video clips. This text-to-video capability was showcased in a recent batch of releases by OpenAI, including a breathtaking AI-generated video featuring an octopus. OpenAI describes Sora as capable of generating intricate scenes with multiple characters, various types of motion, and precise details of both subjects and backgrounds. In a blog post, OpenAI elaborates on Sora's capabilities, highlighting its understanding not only of the user's prompt, but also of how the depicted elements exist in the real world. Sora is currently going through thorough testing by security experts to make sure it's safe and secure before it's released to everyone. They're checking for any important problems or risks. A small group of artists, filmmakers, and designers are also trying out Sora, but OpenAI hasn't told us who they are. Some people who seem to know a lot about OpenAI think that there will be a waiting list soon. This could be the first chance for regular people to try Sora. Unfortunately, we don't know when this waiting list will start. Now, let's talk about when will Sora be available to the public. Unfortunately, there's no set date for when Sora will be released to the public. All the excitement surrounding it in the past day or so has stemmed from a blog post by OpenAI. What's interesting is that OpenAI hasn't even hinted at a rough timeline for its release, not even a mention of this year. It's quite unusual for such a big announcement, which could mean it's still a long way off from being available to everyone. However, OpenAI does say that it's sharing its research early. Given how fast the AI industry has been moving lately, it's hard to predict when Sora will truly be launched. What do you think about not knowing when Sora will be available to everyone? Do you think it's good that OpenAI is sharing its research early? Or does it make things more confusing? Let us know what you think in the comments. How does Sora work? Sora combines elements from both text and image generation tools utilizing a technique known as Diffusion Transformer Model. Transformers, initially introduced by Google in 2017, are a type of neural network commonly associated with large language models like ChatGPT. On the other hand, Diffusion models form the backbone of many AI image generators. They operate by starting with random noise and gradually refining it into a coherent image based on an input prompt. In the case of Sora, it employs the transformer architecture to manage the relationship between frames in a video. While transformers were originally crafted to identify patterns in text tokens, Sora adapts this concept by using tokens to represent small patches of space and time. Sora isn't the first text-to-video model out there. We've seen similar tech from Emu by Meta, Gen2 by Runway, Stable Video Diffusion by Stability AI, and the recent Lumiere by Google. Lumiere made waves not too long ago, boasting better video quality than its predecessors, but it looks like Sora might have it beat in some areas. Sora can whip up videos in resolutions up to 1920 by 1080 pixels, and it's flexible with aspect ratios. Lumiere, it's stock at 512 by 512 pixels. And while Lumiere keeps its clips short at around 5 seconds, Sora can stretch it out to a full minute. Here's where it gets interesting. Lumiere struggles with multi-shot videos, but Sora handles them like a pro. Plus, Sora can do all sorts of video editing tricks, like stitching together images or clips, mixing and matching elements from different sources, and stretching or trimming footage. If you're curious about the risks and ethical concerns surrounding Sora, 
make sure to stick around until the end of the video. You won't want to miss what's coming up. And if you're enjoying this content, don't forget to hit that like button and hit subscribe to stay updated with our latest videos. Both Lumiere and Sora churn out videos that generally look pretty realistic, but they're not without their quirks. Lumiere's videos might be easier to spot as AI generated, while Sora's tend to be livelier with more interactions between elements. But here's the kicker. If you look closely, you'll start to notice some inconsistencies in many of the example videos from both models. Video production can be a pricey affair, whether it's capturing real-life scenes or conjuring up special effects. But imagine if there was a tool like Sora available at a reasonable cost. Suddenly, visualizing ideas becomes a whole lot cheaper and quicker, making it perfect for brainstorming and prototyping. And it doesn't stop there. With Sora's knack for creating lively and dynamic videos, it could shake up industries like entertainment, advertising, and education. Picture this, short, engaging videos crafted effortlessly to capture attention and convey messages effectively. But here's where it gets really exciting. Open AI's calling Sora a world simulator in their technical paper. That means future versions could have some seriously mind-blowing applications. Think of conducting virtual experiments in physics, chemistry, or even sociology. Want to test how different sized tsunamis impact various infrastructures and communities? Sora might just make that possible. Sure, there are skeptics who doubt if Sora can pull off such complex simulations. But hey, with the pace of innovation these days, who knows what's possible? We might just be on the brink of a whole new era of virtual exploration. What are your thoughts on the potential of tools like Sora to revolutionize industries like entertainment, advertising, and education? Do you believe Sora's capabilities as a world simulator could lead to groundbreaking advancements in fields like physics, chemistry, and sociology? Let us know in the comments below. What are the risks and ethical concerns? Let's talk about the big worries around tools like Sora. It's a bit like a tricky puzzle. In a world where fake news is already causing headaches, Sora could make things even more confusing. With just a few clicks, anyone could make a video that looks so real it's hard to know what's true. Suddenly, people might doubt important things like public health rules or even what happens in elections. It's a bit scary, right? As we head into the future, we've got to be clever about how we use this new tech. How can we enjoy the cool stuff while making sure we don't get caught up in the not-so-cool stuff. It's a challenge we've got to tackle together. Video generators bring up some serious worries, especially when it comes to deep fakes. These are videos that swap someone's face with someone else's, and they can be used for really nasty stuff, like making fake pornographic videos. Imagine the damage it could do to someone's life and their family. And then there's the sticky issue of copyright and intellectual property, See, these AI tools need a ton of data to learn from, but OpenAI hasn't said where Sora's training data came from. This isn't the first time this kind of thing has caused a stir. In the US, some famous authors are suing OpenAI over how they use their work. They say that big AI models and the companies behind them are basically stealing their stuff to make new content. It's not the first time we've seen technology zoom past the laws that govern it. Take social media platforms, for example. The question of how much they're responsible for what gets posted has sparked some pretty fiery debates lately, especially around Section 230 of the U.S. Code. But here's the thing. Even though these worries are legit, history tells us they're not likely to slam the brakes on video-generating tech. OpenAI says they're taking some serious safety steps before Sora hits the shelves, like teaming up with experts on misinformation and building tools to spot fake stuff. What are your thoughts on the future of Sora and similar AI tools? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and found it insightful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for more intriguing content, and share it with your friends. Explore the topic of new AI tools with our video, Crazy AI Tools That Will Blow Your Mind 2024, by clicking here. Or are you looking for more captivating content? We've got just what you need. Hit play on another intriguing video and keep the excitement going.